been a good week and, and appreciate that. We got to finish it out and certainly looking forward to playing uh, this rivalry game. Well, I know uh, picking all conference teams sometimes come down to into that record, tend to get more guys on. The defense has been pretty solid all year. Were you surprised at how your guys fit or landed on some of those all-conference teams on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think particularly this year, it was uh, it was tricky because there's there's not a lot of information. You know, like for coaches, usually in a normal season, you're seeing a lot of guys playing. And so when you're voting, and, and, and as you said, you're kind of skipping in and out, but I think it was made the point in the question that, you know, it's your record will drive a lot of it. And uh, and certainly there's, you know, I thought the guys that, that were mentioned have had a really good year. And and I think, you know, where it, where it falls, first team, second team, third, I don't mention, I think that's impacted in many ways by the, the team that you have and, and the overall. And that's kind of found that with a lot of these awards, you know, that um, individual awards will come and they'll be bigger when you have a uh, more successful team. Paul, I had a question about recruiting kind of in general. I was a good day for you guys yesterday with the class that you signed, but the program as a whole hasn't spent the amount of money that a lot of other programs have to, but it's still having that level of success. What do you think it is that you guys are able to do that you don't have to spend the money kind of on the bells and whistles types of things that but still can recruit to that level? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we are excited about the the group that we were able to sign. And, and um, you know, I, I think it's tricky. You know, we try to even do studies and, and look at, you know, what uh, – what you're spending and, and are you being smart in what you're spending really in everything in your program. And, and certainly recruiting is a big, there's a big piece of piece of that pie is recruiting, but it's uh, every place I've been, you know, the bookkeeping is different too. You know, it, it's hard to get an accurate number of how much someone spends on recruiting um, because it goes in so many different ways and, and you have it, but it's uh, you know, I think we got guys that, uh, you know, work at it and, you know, build relationships with players. And, and, and I think our, our players do a great job. And, and so, um, you know, you, get, you always got to keep going and keep working on it. But I don't know, I guess I have a hard time answering that because I, I really don't know what it, what it is in comparison to others because it's, it's, uh, it's hard to track. Steve? Thank you for doing this. I was just wondering the fact that y'all are playing Minnesota, that you got matched up with a rival, how much does that impact to just the interest level, the intensity in practice, then maybe if you've been matched up with just somebody else from the conference this week with no title at stake? Yeah, I, th I think or you'd like to think that you know every game, every opportunity you get to play is a, is a big deal and you look forward to it. But, but certainly this game has a lot of meaning. Um, you know, every time I've been fortunate enough to participate in it as a, you know, coach or as a player, you know, it was, uh, it's, it's special to be a part of. And, and certainly there's a lot of interest, you know, among the, the different fan bases and, and for the states. And so when we were able to get this game, uh, kind of have a second crack at it, I think that everyone was excited about that. Paul, I know there's an obvious point of offensive improvement that you'd like to see this week of just maybe seeing more points on the scoreboard. But um, other than other than that, like what sort of things are you looking for out of the offense that maybe aren't necessarily just touchdowns that show that the offense is kind of improving and headed in the direction that you want? I think there's, uh, you know, you want to you want to play good football, and I think that leads to, uh, you know, that can lead to points. It it can lead to uh, more consistency and a rhythm, right? And and and, and you want to you want to see you do want to see it take a step forward, and 
you know, each week's a different challenge, you know, against a, a, a different team. And, and what you want is you want uh, each, each part of each side of the ball, you want them to be a significant tri- contributor to a, to an effort that ends in a victory, you know, and, and that's the, that's the challenge of every game. Yeah, Paul, it wouldn't be a Thursday without an injury question. So uh, I know it's your favorite topic, but have seriously have Dave, Davis and Pryor been able to do anything in practice this week where you have confidence you'll see them Saturday or is it still going to be relying on the young guys? Uh, probably they haven't done a ton. So they're not ruled out, but haven't done a ton. Well, one of the guys on defense that's having a good for, year for you is Jack Sanborn. I know you guys relied on him a lot and kind of thought this was going to be the year that he had, but is there anything that he's done either on the field or off the field that's kind of stuck out to you as he's t- taken on a little bit more of a leadership role this year? Yeah, Jack has been playing really good football. And uh, and I think he's he certainly, you know, he's a uh, – he, he works at it. You know, he uh, he practices every day and in the off season. You know, he put the time in. And, and I also think that he's, um, you know, smart enough to learn from the experiences that he's had previously. You know, he's able to build on and learn a lot from from last year. And then also being around, you know, the players and, and, and Coach Bostad. And, and, you know, you, you're just more confident in, in the game and, and more knowledgeable in what you have to do to be successful. But but he has been playing really good football and and. I love being around him and watching him play every game. And I love seeing how he approaches each day. He's, uh, he, he has, there, there's not a, he's talented, loves the game, works at it. You know, it's not by accident that he is playing good football.